How's it going everyone, it's Gates Boy and in this video we're going to take a look at uh, an Android app. Uh, I know this channel, we don't really talk about apps uh, as such, but when I do find a really good one, uh, I try to share it, I want to share and talk about it and uh, rather than just tweeting about it and stuff, I thought I'd make a video and actually show you guys because uh, uh, some things are better shown uh, first hand on a video kind of thing so you guys get proper gist of uh, what the app does. Uh, so this app was made by an Australian developer called Chris Lacey. So again, do give him a follow on Twitter and stuff. And if you have any question, feel free to uh, throw it at him. Uh, he actually took time as well to actually uh, tweet me about the app as well. Even though I didn't even mention him in the tweet, he found a tweet himself and gave us a tweet back, which is pretty cool. Uh, I like uh, people who take time out to actually see what's going on with their product uh, out there kind of thing. But anyway, that's that. So uh, the app's called Link Bubble, and it's that little uh, purple uh, logo there. So if you just uh, click that, and uh, there's a there's a paid version, the pro version, and the free version. The free version will just give you a taste of what the app's about and how it works. And uh, hopefully, uh, if you guys like it, you can get the pro version as well, which is pretty neat. Uh, by the way, I'm not being paid or anything to. I'm not endorsing the app in, in terms of payment or anything like that. I'm actually sharing it because. Um, I like it and I use it. Um, so this is an Android app and uh, as you can see there, this screen here shows you how much time I've saved uh, using this app. So uh, it saves me 9.7 seconds per link. If I open that up um, and this has saved me 1.3 minutes so far. And uh, say for someone who runs a business, for example, or trying to do something as quick as possible on the go, that's a lot of time that you've saved. And you can click history as well to see the links that you've, uh, you've followed and things like that. So uh, if I just go back a sec, you can also delete those, link, uh, those links there. If you could go on settings, I'll show you what you can uh, do. Uh, so you got auto expand, so you can automatically expand uh, the bubble once, uh, your link from the bubble once it's fully loaded, which I'll show you guys just in a second. Uh, you've got left bubble to, uh, I've set mine to open Chrome, but I could open that up to open different things and set them as default and stuff. And you've got the right bubble picker as well, uh, which I've set mine to share things to like Twitter and uh, Facebook and stuff like that. You've got default apps, which you can change uh, pretty neat. You've got text, uh, zoom, you've got incognito mode, uh, for those of you guys who want to hide uh, your, your history and stuff. You can clear private data, and everything else is just about saying thanks and FAQ and whatnot and your version and things like that. Uh, so how does this work? So for example, if I went onto Twitter application and there's a link or something that I want to open up, for example, this HTC tweet from earlier, it's got a link in it. And I can open that up and open this uh, link here. So what will happen is that bubble there on the left starts to spin. So that's working in the background whilst I can carry on browsing my tweet and stuff. Uh, what that's doing there is saving me time. So rather than waiting for that browser to load and stuff, that's loading in the background. And once it's done, it's going to open up widely, uh, open for all me. Uh, otherwise, if I wanted to check it, I can just open it up like so. Um, my internet's quite slow in here in this uh, office, so unfortunately, it takes a while to load my web pages and stuff. Uh, but otherwise, once that's loaded, that would open up itself. And what I can then do. Uh, is I can open it with Chrome if I like, or I can share it to the right there, right bubble as you can see there. Or right at the bottom, I can just drag it down and close uh, the bubble entirely. Uh, if, I, if I just wanna put it to the side for a, for a second, I can just drag it to the side and carry on doing what I'm doing, for example, using my Twitter account and stuff. If I go home, it's still there, so I don't actually have to close it if I don't want to. Otherwise, I can just open it back up, browse the internet as normal. So the browser's like a, an overlay on top of what I'm doing. So once I'm done with it, I can just close it completely and that's Link Bubble Gun. And that's, that works if major, majority of the apps that I've got in here, so Twitter, if I'm in browser as well, uh, I can do so. So I mainly use it a lot when I'm, when I'm using Twitter. So for example, if people tweet me stuff or links, I can easily open that up uh, on a different page while I'm still checking the tweets and stuff without having to close it down, uh, which really works for me. And it's, it's just amazing, it's fantastic. Anyway guys, do let me know what you think of the app. Would you use it? Um, you know, would you find the use of what do you think of it? Leave a comment below. Uh, otherwise, I'll leave a link to where you can download this and the link to Chris Lacey's uh, Twitter account. So do give him a follow, check, check him out and uh, he might bring another really cool app out in the future. And the first place to find that usually is through their Twitter account. So do give him a follow. But that's been the Link Bubble uh, app for Android on the HTC One M8. Uh, if this is your first time watching my video and you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe as well. I've been Tommy with Gadgets Boy. Catch you in the next one.